The renewed urgency around air defense in Europe, sharpened by last week's incidents over Poland, set an unmistakable tone at DSE UK 2025. Amid that backdrop, Moog Incorporated and General Dynamics Land Systems UK unveiled a compact but potent answer to the low-altitude threat, a Foxhound 4x4 fitted with Moog's reconfigurable integrated weapons platform, RIWP. The pairing seeks to bridge a glaring gap for light forces that need credible short-range air defense and counter-UAS effects without forfeiting mobility, protection, or logistical simplicity. Rather than advertising a distant concept, the company stressed a quiet but consequential point, every major element is already in service, making the configuration a realistic, field-now, proposition. The Foxhound, known to British soldiers as Ocelot, entered service in 2012 and has long been appreciated for its protected crew cell, modular mission pod concept, and survivability proven in Afghanistan and Iraq. That history matters because the chassis brings a baseline of reliability and protection absent in many pickup-based Shorad experiments. In this integration the vehicle retains its agility and endurance, roughly a 6.9-ton gross weight, around a 2-ton payload window, and a stated operating range near 500 kilometers, while absorbing the weight, power, and cooling demands of a modern effector and sensor suite. The result is a patrol-sized platform that follows light troops into austere areas and still provides an umbrella against drones and low-flying threats. RIWP is the enabler. Its architecture, built around a common core with swappable effectors and sensor packages, lets commanders tailor the same turret to wildly different missions without re-engineering the host vehicle. On the DSEI configuration, the showcase loadout put a premium on layered effects, HVM-LMM missiles already stocked by the British Army for fast aerial targets, a 30 by 113 mm cannon geared to shred small UAS and loitering munitions, a 7.62 mm machine gun for close-in defense, and an electro-optical suite for detection, tracking, and identification. None of this is exotic. That is precisely the virtue, the logistics chain exists, the training base is familiar, and the political friction of introducing orphan munitions is minimized. Operationally, the most compelling attribute is flexibility over time. As adversaries rotate tactics, moving from single quadcopters to coordinated swarms, or blending decoys with small cruise threats, the RIWP slash Foxhound team can pivot between pure Shorad, counter UAS specialization, and even mobile close combat overwatch, MCCO, that mixes anti-armor and reconnaissance roles. The same platform could be tuned for expeditionary security in one deployment and urban air defense in the next, without forcing a new acquisition cycle. That agility is not only tactical but budgetary, a reconfigurable weapon station amortizes risk across multiple use cases, which in turn strengthens the case for procurement at scale. The industrial backstory is equally relevant. Moog and General Dynamics have integrated RIWP onto several GD families, including striker variants used by the U.S. Army for counter-UAS missions and robotic or wheeled platforms such as the TRX and Pander 6x6. This cumulative integration experience lowers engineering risk and compresses timelines. In the UK, Dulcuk emphasized the Foxhound slash RIWP mating took weeks at the Merthyr Tidfil facility. For defense ministries under pressure to deliver capability, at the speed of relevance, the ability to convert an in-service vehicle into a credible air defense node without multi-year development cycles is an important differentiator. From a force design perspective, the pairing helps light infantry and special operations units move from drone-aware to drone-resilient. Many formations still rely on static or vehicle-towed systems that struggle to keep up with dispersed, fast-moving companies. A patrol-class Shorad-slash-CUAS on a protected, high-mobility chassis addresses the last-mile problem, the system rides with the unit, covers tactical halts, and escorts columns through threat zones without demanding heavy logistics or specialized crews. The weapons mix, especially the 30 by 113 mm cannon, reflects a pragmatic appreciation of today's air picture where the most common targets are small, cheap, and numerous. 
Strategically, this is also a sovereignty and export story. For London, a British-built platform married to a fielded international turret illustrates an approach to capability generation that balances domestic industry with off-the-shelf maturity. The message to allies and partners is plain, if your requirement is urgent and your terrain forbids heavier solutions, this is a credible pathway that can be tailored to national preferences, sensor suites, missile stocks, communications, and battle management systems can be swapped with minimal disruption. That modularity should be attractive to customers who need to plug a gap quickly while keeping options open for future increments. The broader lesson from the Foxhound RIWP debut is not that one vehicle will solve air defense. It is that adaptable architecture, paired with a rugged and familiar chassis, can move capability closer to the point of need. In an era where low-end air threats are spreading faster than procurement cycles, the appetite is shifting toward systems that are good enough, soon enough, and evolvable. By fielding a configuration built largely from inventory components, missiles the troops already know, guns the armorers already support, sensors the integrators have tuned, the Moog, Dosak team is betting that readiness and reroll potential will outweigh the allure of bespoke, single-mission designs. For light forces staring down drones today and something more complex tomorrow, that is a compelling bet.